Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tim McGree here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to add text to photos in Aperture. So Aperture is an application put out by Apple, and it's text, I mean, a photo editing software and photo organizing software that will help you uh, organize your photos and pictures pretty easily. And uh, a problem with this is that you actually can't add text to your photos. And I'm going to show you a cool add-on called Border Effects, and uh, it's going to be able to allow you to do that, and uh, it's pretty cool. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is obviously import your photo, and if you don't know how to do that, I'm just going to show you real quick. You can just go to the top left-hand corner and click Import, and I'm just going to click Import again, and I'm going to go to my computer, and then I'm going to click Uncheck All. And so once I've unchecked all, I can choose the photo that I want, check it off, then Import Checked. And so once I've import the checked photo, I can go up to File, and then I can go to Export. And so once I've gone to export, I can click border effects 32 bit, and it'll uh, prompt me to reopen Aperture, and it, I will do that. And uh, once Aperture gets back open, um, I will show you that a pop-up menu comes up, and that's where you can do some of your border editing and stuff. And so here's a pop-up menu right there. And so once you have that up, you want to unclick, I mean uncheck border, and once you've done that, click fit. And then you can go all the way, I and mean, you can go up over to uh, your text uh, area, and you can go to uh, new text box. And so you can just click on the screen, click new text box, go into your uh, your text bar there, and I'm gonna type in my uh, use YouTube username, which is I'm Tim Great. And so once I have that, I can change the color and size. Right now, I'm just gonna change the color right here. So there's a color wheel. You can change it to uh, I'm changing it to bright white, and I'm gonna change my uh, font size to 56 point. And uh, now I'm going to um, drag it to the middle. If you guys saw that white, uh, that red line right there, uh, it indicates to me uh, where the center of the document is. So I know exactly where to put my text, and it'll be super easy. And now I can go over to export. And so once I export this photo, I want to, want to save it to the desktop. And now that I have it saved to the desktop, it didn't take much time to export. And so I can just check over at the desktop to make sure it worked, and indeed it did. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the final product right there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope this helped. And if it did help, make sure you subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash I am the great. That's it, guys. I'm out. Peace.